Today, I'm going to compare four different microphones for teaching in a yoga studio. This is my yoga studio, Ashes Yoga Studio in Pulsbo, Washington, and I've been teaching online yoga for quite a while now, and I've found what works and what doesn't work as far as audio quality. So today I'm comparing the Rode Wireless Go, my favorite by the way, and what you're hearing right now, with the Apple AirPods Pro, and also a Yeti microphone. This is the Blue Yeti. And lastly, the internal microphone that comes on my computer. So right now I am filming on a laptop with a webcam and I've got the Rode Wireless Go connected, but I'm gonna go through each of these and show you the difference if I were to step back and teach a yoga class or a little segment. So you'll get the comparison from all four of these from the same distance back in a very echoey yoga studio. This first option I'm showing you is the internal microphone that comes with my laptop. It's the least expensive because you don't have to buy anything, but you can hear everything around, including the entire echo. So if I were to teach a class, I need to project a little bit louder and know that that echo is going to be very prominent on the recording. So I could teach a yoga class, and I'm able to reach up, pull forward, and make sure that I'm speaking loud enough, going through my poses, and always turning my gaze and my voice towards the direction of the computer or whatever it is um, filming or capturing my audio. So this is the internal microphone. Now let's move on to the next one. This microphone option is my Blue Yeti stereo microphone, which is right here in the corner. It's a little bit better, but I, it still picks up a lot of the echo. And I still have to project my voice, I still have to face my body and my voice towards that microphone, and you'll hear a lot of the echo. So it's not ideal for teaching yoga classes, although it's a little bit better than the internal microphone. This microphone will run you about $100 to $150, and it's great for headshot videos or podcast videos or podcast audio recordings where you're talking directly into the microphone. This is also a great microphone for voiceovers, not so much live, in-person, Zoom, or other types of classes. This next microphone option that I'm sharing with you is the Apple AirPods Pro but any kind of AirPods or Bluetooth wireless headset could work to sound very similar to this. So with these, I can hear my students as I have a live Zoom class, I can talk to them. It's just a little bit funky because there's always something in my ear. So if you don't like that, you might check out a couple of the other options. Um, but anyway, I can face whatever direction I want. There's not too much distraction as far as my clothes or my hair or anything getting in the way, but these little pieces in my ears may or may not fall out. Um, I feel like they're going to fall out, uh, but the quality is pretty good. This is still a better option than your internal mic or the Blue Yeti mic. So if you have AirPods or if you're looking to invest in something like that, this could be a great option for teaching yoga classes, either recording, or live. Now let's go over and check out my favorite microphone, which is the Rode Wireless Go. And back to my favorite microphone, which is the Rode Wireless Go. I've actually just tucked the microphone right into my shirt, right in the, like where my sports bra is, but I can also clip it to my collar. And it doesn't bother me at all. It picks up audio awesome. My hair doesn't get in the way because it's on, it's in my shirt. Uh, my shirt doesn't get in the way. It just doesn't unless it's actually rubbing against that microphone but I'm able to talk people through a class I'm able to hear them from the, the speaker on my computer and I'm able to jump around and have the audio quality be really good and not cut out so I noticed when I watched the AirPod one a lot of it cut out and maybe it was my hair so I got some stuff in the um, it got a little bit in my way so the thing to know about the Rode Wireless Go is it is about $200. You will also need a couple additional cords if you're going to plug it into a computer. And that would be, 
I have it connected here. The receiver piece connects to your computer or your phone, and the microphone attaches to you. You could also get an additional lavalier microphone to attach to you if you're extra fancy. So you do need to be able to connect this, this through USB. So there's a couple cables that I'm gonna put down below in the description. If you're not familiar or if you need a little bit of help with the correct cable. So it's not just the Rode Wireless Go, you would also need two other small cables, which total to then about $225. Is it worth it? That's up to you. But if you noticed the quality of the microphone from the very beginning of this video to the internal mic, even the Yeti mic, which again, this one's awesome. If you're sitting right in front of it, if I was talking right here like this, versus the AirPods, which are a little choppy, um, versus the Rode Wireless Go. So these are the four that I've compared. I hope this video was helpful for you. Make sure that you subscribe, subscribe, give this video a like, and uh, stay tuned for more help for online yoga teachers and yoga classes.